Push it. Well done. Hello and welcome back to the Introvert Circus. My name is Sassafas. This is Sirius, and today we are going to do another really fun tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog to bowl. So this is a really fun game. Um, or trick, I suppose you could say, that I love, love, love to do. And actually, Sirius just learned how to do it. It is one of those tricks that I actually forgot I hadn't taught her. Sometimes that's something that happens, particularly if you have older dogs. Um, this is a trick that I... Hi, there is a squirrel outside the window. Um, that I had taught my senior dogs when we lived in New York because I had the supplies for it. And this was one of the trick props I didn't actually move cross country with us two years ago, and I forgot that Sirius didn't know how to bowl. Uh, and then I was in the dollar bins in Target a couple of weeks ago, saw these super cute translucent bowling pins, realized that I absolutely wanted them for my trick props, because we all know how much I love trick props if you are, uh, have been around here for a little while and realized I needed to get them, which speaking of, if you are new, welcome. Uh, and if you have been around for a while or you're new and have not yet subscribed, please uh, subscribe. It really helps the channel. I really appreciate it. Also, if you enjoy tutorials like this, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the uh, little alarm bell that will also let you know when I upload videos. That's my cat thing. He is here because I also have a bowl full of treats, which is what we're gonna be using for the tutorial. But you can get bowling pins like this all over the place, especially this time of year, which is why I wanted to uh, make this tutorial. This is just the little uh, sheet that was attached to it. This is in the dollar bins. This set was $5. You can get them um, really anywhere from dollar stores, any big box retailer, Target, um, craft stores, tend to have those like outdoor summer fun sections this time of year. And little kid bowling sets are one of those things that they have. These are kind of cool. You can fill them with sand. Uh, I haven't done that, but you can to make them more weighted but that's not necessary. Uh, and then these come in different sizes. Also, you can get tiny ones, big ones. I think this little size is very fun. She's a giant dog, but I don't need her bowling pins to be huge. I forgot to say that part. So the first thing we're gonna do is to make sure our dog has a nose target. Nose target is where they are pushing their nose up against something on cue. And that's what we need for this trick. So to start, I have a clicker. I have my little ring clicker. I did a review of this a few videos back. I'll try to remember to put a link to it somewhere. Uh, I have treats. In this case, I just have a little bowl full of kibble. Uh, fun little factoid. Um, if you're looking for good and cheap training treats, I love to use high quality kibble samples that aren't even the high treats that I feed or the food that I feed. Um, I enjoy using for training treats. So to start with, if your dog already um, knows touch, then you can do a little bit to practice that. Good. And if your dog doesn't know touch, how we're going to start by teaching that is have some treats, have your clicker, your clicker training, or you can use your verbal uh, marker of choice and you're going to hold your hand in front of your dog. Good. When they go to explore your hand, and that's kind of the thing I don't always love about this clicker ring is I tried to click and I missed. Um, when they go to explore your hand, they nose at your hand, you click, you praise, that's what we're looking for. So at first they're just gonna be like, what's your hand doing? Sniff, boom, that's what we want, we click, we praise. And they're like, oh, that's simple, that's all you want, I can do that. And then she's gonna offer things, hi, I can do that, good. So that's how we start thing. Thing is in here because he knows that I will throw treats at him. Good, when uh, I'm training, if he crawls up on me, he is in fact, trained me. He is not particularly well trained as a cat. Hi, so he will come when he's called. Did you can see this? Yeah. Ready? Good. So we're going to do some practices with that. Start is just that target. And if this is new for your dog, after you have done a few repetitions of training, you can start to add good, the verbal cue of your choice in with that. So I use, she actually has a touch cue that is both touch and boop. Um, because we think that boop is just funny and cute. So she knows it by both verbal cues. Boop. Boop. Good. 
don't actually practice boot nearly as often. Boop. Yes. So there she was trying to paw at my hand that had the cookies. So she's a little distracted. Boop. Good. She knows the touch cue much touch. Good. Much better. And so you can practice it in different areas. Touch. Good. Girl. Face. Touch. Good. Boop. Good girl. Boop. Good girl. So when you've done a few repetitions of that, what we're next going to do is work on transferring the touch cue from your hand to another object. So a really cool way to do this if you're looking for them to target lots of different things is to put a post-it note on your hand first, charge up that touch onto the post-it note, and then you can move the post-it note around. For this skill, what we want them to do is to nose target onto the, onto the ball. In this case, our tiny bowling ball. Good girl. It is what we will use. The same thing I would use for like if I'm teaching her to push like our big yoga ball, any of those things you might have seen in other um, videos. I know this thing has me very well trained. Touch. Good. So I'm just going to hold the ball out. I'm going to use that same cue, which is touch. Good girly. And she, when she touches the ball, click, praise, treat. Touch. Good girl. And so what I'm really looking for. Chicken. Just look at it. I'm not going to give it to you, Miss Lewis. Just find it. Good. Uh, what I'm really looking for is the nose. Hi. They can't see through you. They can't see through you. Is the nose target on the ball. I don't want her to be mouthing on it. So if I hold the ball out to her and she puts it in her mouth like that, I'm not going. Well, I'm going to, in fact, do what I just did. I'm not going to click and praise that one. I know. You got a freebie. Uh, so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to click. I'm not going to praise when she's good girl, if she puts it in her mouth. I know you knew I messed it up, right? See if we can mess you up again. So if she puts it in her mouth, she gets nothing. Touch. Good. So then when she touches it, that's what gets it. So if your dog starts to mouth at it, starts to paw at it, any of those things that are super natural, we're just going to ignore it. We're going to hold it out, wait for them just to touch. Good. And that's what gets the treat. Good. I know, thing, thing's throat is not very good. Touch. Good. Okay, so now that you have the target um, transferred from your hand to the ball, we're ready to work on bowling a little bit. So now we're gonna go down to the floor and we're gonna work just on that initial roll. So to get started, once we are down on the ground, we uh, also, it's an important step, if you have a dog who is a little uncertain about objects, she definitely can be a little like, what is that sometimes? You wanna make sure that you let your dog see what the bowling pins are. If they are noisy, these aren't very noisy on this floor, but you want to make sure that your dog knows what that is before you start working on bowling. Uh, you definitely to do that would want to um, let your dog see the pins, treat for any engagement with them, and just make sure they're not scared about them making noises. Anything like that, we would want to um, scare them while we are working on playing. So now that we are here, what we have is the same ball. Uh, I like to have them lay down. I know you love it. Same, you don't know how to play this. <laughs> I know, so she's gonna try to pot it. All those things we're gonna ignore. Here's push, touch, good. Good girl. Trying not to get it to roll. Good. Touch. Good. So you can later transition to a different cue. She also knows push, but you can use your same touch cue that you have. Boop. Prime. Push. Good. Good girl. And again, you can click, you can use your verbal marker, whatever makes the most sense for you. Here's the throwing treat so the thing will stay out. So we use push. Good. And if your dog starts mouthing at it, starts pawing at it, any of those things, just go back a step so that you're holding it so that it can't turn into a game uh, and you just wait them out. Push, good. And practice again in your hand. You can practice, push, good. In your hand on the floor, any of those things before you, wait, hold on, wait, I know, wait. Push, good girl. 
So once your dog is consistently pushing the ball, it's time to set them up with the bowling pins. So I like to start them very close with one that is set up so that when they push it, push, like, it might hit the pin. You can start with one, you can start with three, this is easier to get this push, good, into the pin. Good girl. And so you're starting so that it's right there, they're not really, okay, push, good girl. So I'm gonna reward her for that, even though she didn't hit the pins, she's still learning that component up to you. There you go. That component of the game, but she gave it a really great push and it just wasn't quite strong. It was a little bit off center. Didn't, I know, good girl. I didn't ask you yet. Um, it wasn't quite center enough. Hold on, baby. Push. Hold on. Push. Push. Good. So again, I'm gonna actually reward her for that because this is really new for her even though it didn't hit the pins. Push. That was really cute, but not what we're going for. So that doesn't get a treat, because she hit it with her paw. I'm just gonna ask her again, reset, push. So she's gonna again offer the paw. And so what I'm gonna do is push, push. Good, remind her that what I want is the nose target. She's figured out, push, good that hitting it with her foot is much faster. Hi, thing, I see you trying to steal treats. Um, but we'll push, good. What we want is that nose target. Push, good. And at this point, I can go ahead and set up all the pins. That part of it's really not as relevant, how many there are, because she's not stressed out about the pins falling. But it will give her a better shot at getting more of them. Hi, can you move a little bit? Good. Hi. I know. Good girl. I didn't ask you. Good. Good. I'm just going to reposition her right up. Good. Hold on. Push. Good job. Good girl. Thing, you're in the way. Very nicely done. So we're just going to ask for that same push or touch cue when she does it on you. I know I didn't ask you yet. And they go, and she's just gonna go push right into the pins. It doesn't take a ton of pressure um, on that bowling ball for it to hit these pins and it turns into a really cute trick. Push, good job. And again, if she were to start pawing at it again, or trying to pick the ball up, I would just go back to that step, push, good, where I'm rewarding her for the nose target in my hand. Push, good job. And it's, over time, you're gonna be able to up the criteria to understanding that actually what I want is for the pins to get pushed down, uh, so you have to aim a little bit with that push and that that's what's ultimately going to get the treat. Push, push it up, close. Good girl. You can also over time start to distance yourself so that you don't need to be sitting right here next to it, similar to um, any other trick. Push. So that one I'm just gonna ignore. Push. Good, I will get her treat for that. We can hit the ball thing. <laughs> girl, I didn't ask you yet. I know. Wait. Good girl, I know. Push. Good girl. So this is a brand new trick for her. We've only done a couple of training sessions. Good. I know, but I didn't ask for it yet. So what I want to do is I do want her to wait till I ask for the cue so that I can help set her up. Push. Good girl. Push. Good. And then you can, over time again, build that duration.
Good girl. So that was it for today's folding tutorial. Let me know if you enjoy videos like this. If you do, I have a Facebook group. This was a requested video in our Facebook training group. It's called Tricks in the City. Same name as one of my training books. Uh, feel free to come join us. Check us out. It's a super fun group. I have a link in the description box below. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have ever taught your dog to bowl or if this is a trick you think sounds like fun. And if you have any trick or training video requests, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for suggestions for new videos. I hope that you and your dogs um, or you and your cats are having a super fun day and we will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye. Push it. Well done.